gentlemen, so we're still here at CS Pepcom event and we're here with HTC and yeah, they have announced a new version of the HTC Vive and lucky enough I got somebody here to introduce it a little bit. Could you quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, of course. My name is JB Macri. I lead product marketing for HTC Vive and um, we're really excited to have announced the Vive Pre today. Vive Pre is the second generation Vive developer kit. So uh, there's a lot of differences between this and the first developer kit. One of the first things that you're going to notice is it's a little bit more compact than it was before. Um, the weight is very similar, but because it's more compact and fits closer to the face, it feels a little bit lighter. We've got a new strap design uh, on the top, so a little bit more premium materials with the strap. Uh, same three adjustments as we had before, they're just easier to do. Um, swivels on the side, so it just makes it a little bit more comfortable. And then we have this cool cradle back. So as this comes over the crown of your head, um, it actually cups over the crown of your head. It feels really very comfortable. comfortable. Than it's pretty comfortable. And then here we've got interchangeable gaskets for your face, interchangeable nose gaskets as well. So it means that no matter what facial shape you have, we should have something that fits you well. Um, we have two different eye adjustments. One is the IPD, so inner pupillary distance, distance between the eyes. Uh, for some people, they have a different distance, so that should be able to be calibrated for them. We also have the distance between the eyes and the actual lenses. So simple adjustments, it makes sense. We've got to have them for a good experience. Um, we also have done some uh, pretty cool enhancements with the visual chain on here. So inside of the, the visuals, we've got both hardware and software uh, adjustments here. So we have the same resolution, um, 2160 by 1200. Um, on this on this display, uh, but we've done two different things. One, we have brighter displays than we had before. We also have what we call Mura correction. Uh, Mura is an artifact that exists in virtual reality with these types of lens combinations. And so Mura is almost uh, an artifact that you see sometimes in really dark scenes. And so we're correcting for that. We're making it where it never looks like you're looking through a dirty window. Um, so it's really cool. We also have a new front-facing camera on this device. Uh, because HTC Vive supports room-scale VR, it's probably the biggest, most differentiating thing about Vive is that instead of being seated or standing, which you can do, you can get up and walk around. Part of that means you have to be safe. So we've included a chaperone system that warns you when you approach the perimeter of a play space. Well now since we have the camera, we have the ability to take objects from the real world and project those inside of the virtual world. So if you wanted to take a seat, you wanted to pick up your drink, you wanted to carry on a conversation, you can do all that now without removing the headset. So really cool. So that's the new headset. We also have two new controllers. Um, this, the, the kit will ship with two controllers, two base stations, and a headset because it provides the best tracking experience possible. And that's Can you what do we're it left and right. Or? Yeah, they're left and right. Okay. Um, so we've got a, a trackpad, a couple of menu buttons here, a new dual stage trigger, so you'll feel a little click at the top. Um, grip sensors on the side. Uh, it's up to a developer to figure out what they want these sensors and, and buttons to do, so it's kind of up to them to do whatever they want. You have a new sensor array up here on top, so this is how it tracks. And because this new sensor array and the new base stations, we have better tracking than before. Um, it's very balanced in the hand. You can see it's very centrally balanced. doesn't feel too heavy on the front or the back. Um, included batteries, so uh, uh, built-in batteries, rechargeable by micro USB, at least four hours of runtime with heavy use. Um, so very, very cool, very functional, really comfortable uh, controllers. We also have new base stations, so this is what it's required for the headset to actually and the controllers to track. Is it included in the kit? These are, yeah, all five components are included in the kit. So what you do is you take these base stations, you put them up in the corner of the room, and they project into the room and it allows you to track the system. The cool thing about these new base stations is they're designed a little bit differently. Um, they only now require power. So used to you had to have a cable that connected these two them to each other. Now they can be run wirelessly. Um, they're also quieter than before and have less vibration. So now with the new the new base stations, the new controllers, the new sensors, and the new design, we have better tracking than we did before. Much more comfortable and higher performance. So that's the new Vibe 3. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are quickly trying here HTC Vive, and holy crap! At the first look, it looks way sharper than Oculus. There is no visible pixel grid anymore, and the cool thing is that I can really move around here because um, those cameras or sensors are actually tracking me and I feel really fully immersed. It's actually really crazy because oh my god <laughs> there are a couple of fishes and it's like they're coming out of your eyes. It looks absolutely crazy. Now the display in my opinion yeah oh my god with the sound this is absolutely great. The display in my opinion looks absolutely good so totally sharp and also the colors and everything probably the 
field of view is still not 100% perfect, but it looks absolutely awesome. So yeah, this was just a quick hands-on here on HTC Vive, and for sure um, with the controller and in other games, then this demo here it will be super awesome. So we're also going to visit them at the booth. Maybe we can yeah snatch up something else, but um, this demo already looks very promising, really cool. So we're going to start pre-orders in February, um, shipping in March, and have availability in early April. Okay, thank you very much, and we are soon having a closer look at HTC Vive at the booth, so stay tuned for the video, and see you soon in the next one. Have a nice day, and bye-bye. See ya.